So my question is that uh, my husband's uh, family, his reverse, his family, they are still non-Muslim. So my question is that uh, his father, he's very old man and living alone himself. And we will wanted him to live with us so that we can take care of him mm. because there are many things he can do. But the problem is that he is alcoholic and he drinks all the time. So is it permissible for him to live in our house um, while he is taking alcohol? Or what is, what, what is your advice, please? Shukran, ya Ania. Very sensitive situation. Alcohol is a major sin and it's absolutely forbidden in Islam. And it is not permissible for a Muslim to assist any person who drinks financially or physically. So if he would like to take care of his father, this is such a very noble cause. So he's taking care of him and his physical needs, medication, health care, food, uh, drugs, medication I mean, and drink, all of that is permissible. And you and him will be receiving an immense reward, mashallah. But to serve him alcohol is absolutely forbidden. Okay? To give him money so that he can buy alcohol, that is absolutely forbidden. If he calls the delivery and you pick it up for him, that is not permissible under any circumstances whatsoever. Okay? If he smuggles it somehow and he drinks and you don't know and you're not even aware, no problem. He's blameworthy because he's a not Muslim. He's a non-Muslim. You're not blameworthy. But there is a benefit risk uh, conflict. The risk that he's old, doesn't have anyone to look after him, and it is my duty as his son. The Almighty Allah said, وَصَاحِبَهُمَا فِي الدُّنْيَا مَعْرُوفًا صَاحِبُهُمَا فِي الدُّنْيَا مَعْرُوفًا is not to the Muslim parents, to the non-Muslim parents, and not only the non-Muslim parents, non-Muslim parents are very stubborn, who are opposing you because of your faith and putting pressure on you to give up on your deen. You still have to serve them. You still have to look after them. So, choice number one, he comes home, you take care of him, and you're rewarded. Uh, choice number two, if any other sibling will take care of him and you provide financially and you visit uh, quite often. Barakallahu feekum. Thank you, respected sister.